and my question for you to ponder as we, as we think about confessing, I want you to think about maybe something that has distracted you. What's distracted you in your pursuit of God's kingdom? What lies have you believed that have been whispered to you that distract you and that, that, that fool you into thinking that you're not a son or daughter of the king? What's distracted you from, from following our Lord? Maybe it's current world events. Maybe it's something going on in your life. sin is poured out but yet we cling to that promise that you are a child of the king you are sons and daughters of the king and the way that happens is by his word as it meets us in baptism it's in baptism that we are are connected that that we become his children and, and, and baptism for us is, is huge. It, it, it unites us. It gives us that identity that even though each of these things speaks to who we are, this is not who we are. This is not who we are. Even when we get distracted and confused, we are his children. And so with that, with this, our confession painted on our floor, I share with you the good news that as a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, through his death and resurrection, you are his children, you are his royalty, and your forgiveness, your forgiveness is washed clean. You are made pure and holy and good. You see, there's a cross here in this place that you didn't see, but it was here. Because even though his kingdom isn't always visible, it is there. And your sins are washed clean. Not all of them right now. All of them are washed clean, but we still see evidence of them. But there will be a day when every tear will be dried up when every sin and brokenness, with every distraction is removed and your royalty will be revealed in its glory and grandeur as you are a son and you are a daughter of the King of kings and Lord of lords. This is most certainly true. And all God's people said, Amen.